you know, who do you trust? Well, you know, uh, I trust biology and physiology and um, evolutionary biology and, you know, or how much do we normally have in our body and our system? Not much, less than 2%, 1 to 2%. Procter & Gamble paid the American Heart Association $20 million in today's valuation to lie and say that uh, it was better for your heart than, than animal fat. So it's just like, I literally just don't believe a word that they say. Everything they say is uh, you have to hold and with a lot of contempt and scrutiny because they've just been, there's so many examples of them being paid off by different industries like the sugar, like Procter and Gamble. And then the sugar companies paid them to say, uh, to lie about things like the Framingham study and say that cholesterol, increased cholesterol caused uh, was associated with higher rates of cardiovascular disease mortality. And it was like, no, it actually showed the opposite of that. Your thoughts on polyunsaturated fatty acids, omega-6s, and inflammatory? Yeah, I, I think that there's a lot of um, evidence to that, uh, to that, um, uh, to those being pro-inflammatory, and there's others going in the other direction. And, you know, who do you trust? Well, you know, uh, I trust biology and physiology and um, evolutionary biology and, um, you know, or how much do we normally have in our body and our system? Not much, less than 2%, 1% to 2%. And the um, omega-6s that we we get from meat are things like arachidonic acid, which, yeah, we do need, but only in a small amount. Um, we don't need linoleic acid at all. We only need linoleic acid. That's the plant version of omega-6s. If we don't have uh, enough arachidonic acid, then we turn linoleic acid into arachidonic acid. But it's, um, you know, you sneeze and, you, and you, you mutate this stuff. It's very unstable. It can cause neuroinflammation and break down products and free radicals in the brain, causing distress to the brain. Um, uh, Dr. Georgia E talks about this. She's a psychiatrist from Harvard. And how omega-6s and linoleic acid specifically is quite toxic uh, to the brain, causes neuroinflammation. And, uh, and so for her field and uh, in psychiatry, um, she's, she's very much against it. And, um, you know, these polyunsaturated fats, you know, as we've increased these things and decreased animal fats and saturated fats, um, you know, heart disease rates have gone up. Alzheimer's has gone up. Cancers have gone up. All these other things have gone up. These are all associations, but it's not going the other way. Animal fats goes the other way. As we've reduced animal fat consumption over the 20th century and into the 21st century, heart disease rates and non-communicable chronic diseases, cancers, uh, strokes, Alzheimer's, autoimmunity, they've all gone up, right? So that's that's an inverse relationship. So we know it's not that. We know it has nothing to do with meat, fat, and, and uh, animal fat, I should say. Um, how much of, of a role does omega-6s play in the polyunsaturated fats play? I think probably a significant role. Uh, but it all comes down to the, the over overarching premise of we're eating things that don't belong in our body. We're eating things that don't belong to our species. And we're getting sick as a consequence. And omega-6s are part of that. You know, you're eating these things out of proportion of what we would in nature, what we've ever done in our biological past. And we're getting harm. That's all there is to it. Um, Dr. Chris Kenobi has written a whole book on this. He thinks that that's the main driver of disease nowadays is, is the omega-6s and the polyunsaturated fatty acids. You know, these seed oils that were industrial uh, lubricants, you know, like the Germans invented Crisco, I believe in 1911, they used it to like lubricate their uh, U-boats, the submarines that were going around in World War I. And uh, then they ended up selling the, the recipe uh, to Procter & Gamble. And then Procter & Gamble paid the American Heart Association $20 million in today's valuation to, uh, to lie and say that uh, it was better for your heart than than animal fats. So you know, it's just like, you know, the, this is the AHA. I mean, I literally just don't believe a word that they say. Everything they say is uh, you have to hold and with a lot of contempt and scrutiny because they've just been, there's so many examples of them being paid off by different industries like the sugar, like Procter & Gamble. And then the sugar companies, um, you know, paid them to say, uh, to lie about things like the Framingham study and say that, you know, it said that um, that uh, uh, cholesterol, increased cholesterol cause uh, was associated with higher rates of cardiovascular disease mortality. And it was like, no, it actually showed the opposite of that, you know. So that's, that's um, uh, you know, just a completely corrupt organization from the get-go. 
and uh, you shouldn't believe a damn word they say. Hey everyone, really happy to announce a new sponsor for the show and for everybody down in Australia, Stockman Steaks, who are delivering high quality grass fed and finished pasture raised beef and other meats, flash frozen and vacuum sealed to your door. Something that I've been enjoying a lot of myself recently as well. They also have a great range of specialty items such as high fat keto mints and carnivore beef and organs mints with liver, kidneys and beef heart as well. So use code CHAFEE today for a free order of beef mints or another specialty gift along with your order at stockmansteaks.com.au and i'll see you over there thanks guys there are also studies the only uh randomized controlled trials interventional trials looking at ldl cholesterol polyunsaturated fats saturated fats and cardiovascular disease and mortality rates um there are three of them and they were all buried because they didn't give the the outcome that the authors wanted and, uh, and they admitted to that decades later when these got uncovered. Um, and they found that replacing um, saturated fat with polyunsaturated fats, in one case, linoleic acid, which is omega-6 from plants, that this did indeed lower uh, LDL cholesterol, but ended up killing a lot more people of heart from heart attacks and strokes from cardiovascular disease. So what do you want? Is LDL... Just LDL, just no, nothing else. Just LDL causes heart disease, right? Higher LDL causes heart disease. Okay, well, we lowered LDL and it lowered heart disease. You know, or, or sorry, we, low, we lowered LDL and it increased heart disease, right? So that's not the case. We had higher LDL with less heart disease, with less heart attacks, with less strokes, right? And so you lower LDL and heart disease goes up. Strokes go up, heart attacks go up. Okay. I've seen some people say like, well, you know, all that shows is that linoleic acid is worse than LDL. I'm like, okay, well, what do you want? You know, it's like you're saying that LDL causes heart disease. Okay. So are you saying now that linoleic acid causes heart disease as well? Okay. Well, then, then what, you know, when you, when you're getting these polyunsaturated fats, they come with a lot of linoleic acid. So what the hell are you supposed to do? Right. What are you supposed to eat that's natural? First of all, seed oils aren't natural. You can't get those things naturally. Um, and so, you know, what would we have been eating biologically that wouldn't kill us historically? You know, you got nothing, you know. And so, you know, this is um, it's a bit of a force. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just a bit of a mess around. You know, there's, no, there's nothing that, that we're eating now that even existed 50,000 years ago besides meat. It just isn't. Right. And so, you know, the idea that that um, we have to eat all these things that didn't exist, you know, 100 years ago, let alone 50,000 years ago um, is a bit is a bit ridiculous. You know, just we've just been unhealthy and miserable and dying of cancers and heart disease. You know, this whole no, you know, nature is, you know, the, the natural state of all life is is healthy. Because unhealthy species as a species, they don't last. And in fact, they don't exist in the first place because they come from species that were healthy and survived and adapted to some situation and changed a bit and changed a bit and changed a bit. So, you know, all life comes from those who survived all life. So we have to be descended from people who were healthy. And if we're eating a lot of meat and exclusively meat for a long time, we must have been healthy doing that. And so uh, now we are getting very sick as a population and we are hurting ourselves. And yes, we're surviving, but it's very clear that we're getting a lot worse and it's not going to go very well. And fertility rates are going down, um, diseases are going up. And so we're, you know, if we were doing that during an ice age, good luck making it through an ice age, uh, you know, fat, sick and miserable like that. It's not going to happen. You know, you, you just eat cereal for dinner. Like, oh yeah, it's great. Like, you get the hell out of here. Yeah, you like you give a shit about people and their plight. You just want to sell more goddamn cereal, and um, and it's this stuff is poison, and you know it's poison, and you know it's making them sick, and, uh, and you don't care because uh, you just you profit from all of that. You can just tell he's just had this little, you know, snarky, cocky grin on his face. Oh yeah, we'll just eat cereal. You know, he's, he's just had a face you want to punch. You know, and it's like.